I've been away literally forever working on season two and three of Social Life, um, but I haven't forgotten about you. I'm back with one of the most requested IO to Diz of all time. Hail of the phone, please. It's Tucker's turn, but in classic puke form, he isn't on time. I knew that little puke was gonna be trouble. Instead, he calls Gary on his Blackberry and then hooks it up to a playbook. Technology burns are um, probably the best, the best burns. Go. Can everybody hear me? Meet Chris and Jake, best friends who can share clothes because they both fit into size tent. You go. What are you scared of? And I think they cut their hair using the same bowl. Is your refrigerator running? Tonight they're making prank phone calls, the ultimate pre-pornography pastime. Lame. Very lame. Jake thinks he can outdo Chris with this classic. To qualify for an all-expense-paid dream vacation, all you have to do is answer one easy question. Um, how about how did a 12-year-old get a job at a radio station? Three, two, one, and cut! Now meet Annie, who is probably one of my favorite I.O. to the sisters. What are you doing, making prank calls again? No, I was trying to get mom and dad. Look, pal. Yeah, look, pal. I'm your mom and your dad while they're on vacation. You can tell by my androgynous and authoritative blazer. I can't believe you're letting him talk you into this stuff. On top of it all, she's also part of some awesome 60s gang. Forget mom and dad. You're gonna get tagged by the phone police, you zero. Phone police? Now, in case you didn't catch that, Jake doesn't know what the phone police are. I don't know! <laughs> Back in the kitchen, the O'Briens are out of Sunny D, so Annie opts for the green stuff. You're kidding, right? You've never heard of the phone police? Uh, no. And begins to explain the phone police. Billy Baxter. Happened a long time ago. He's making prank calls, and the phone police got him. Now, it might not make total sense why she just poured her entire glass of green stuff down the sink, but to be fair, she thought it was melon liqueur. You mess with the phone? The answer to the phone police. Want to make a call? Well, that's enough of Bugs McCanny. Uh, Chris leaves, and Jake decides to look up Billy Baxter in the phone book. It's only got six numbers. This won't work. More disconcerting than that, all the other numbers start with 555, so they won't work either. Later that night, Jake is exhausted from beating his wife when he receives a call from Billy himself. Hello? Hey, kid. I know you can hear me. You gotta help me. Who sounds old enough that we should just be calling him Bill? Please help me. I can't tell if his room is American themed or popcorn bag themed. The next day, the boys receive a call to a payphone from the dirty old Baxter himself. Help me out of here. Lose this. We gotta do something. So they decide to go not to the police, but to the phone company. And you can tell because. of the tiny little phone decal on the front desk. It's not foreign, it's old and discontinued. It can't be, we just called it and got somebody. Now I'm loath to question the authority of the phone police, but if you don't want someone to call a number, why put it in the directory? In like bold, size 14. The records department is in the basement. They'll take care of it. The receptionist looks like a who from Whoville. <laughs> she can barely contain her front teeth. And she's joyous. Anyway, she sends the boys downstairs to meet with an old pedophile. Using the phone to tell a couple of jokes, eh? What? Who summons the phone police? Just stand there, young fella. Take care of you. And now I'm not sure what the direction here for Jake was, but it can only be act like there are bats on the ceiling. <laughs> Phone police. So Chris escapes, and Jake is thrown into a jail cell with its own phone. Hello? Ritzy. And it looks like the toilet already has pee in it. Help! Chris! Somebody help! Jake then gets a call from old Bill, who is a real dick about the situation. But you called me. That's because you called me first. Maybe you'll be lucky to stay on the phone. Someone might hear you someday. <laughs> Wait, don't hang up. Yes, haha, -ha, I, I showed you. Now we're, now we're both trapped. 
So, in your face! Chris then goes back to Jake's house, but Annie doesn't remember him. Who are you and how do you know my name? What? Or her brother! I don't know you and I don't know any Jake. I'll call the cops. So she loses her shit and, and tries to bean Chris right in the noggin. You're not kidding, are you? No, I'm not kidding, I'll bean you! A flower pot being the third favorite weapon of self-defense classes after candlestick and revolver. This is Jake's bed room. So here's the deal, the story has now been turned around, so Jake is the legend that was once captured by the phone police. Oh man, those guys work fast. His entire existence has been totally erased, except for Chris, who, um, conveniently didn't get the memo. Leave me alone, you crazy old- Jake, take it easy, it's me. Chris, get me out of here, man, this place is nuts. Please hurry, my toilet doesn't even have a seat on it. I'm scared, Chris. Me too, but I got a plan. Chris and Jake come up with a plan to get Jake out of phone jail. Hello? Yes, is this receptionist? I'm going to steal Christmas. <laughs> Was my Grinch impression. Now their plan is much too elaborate and improbable for me to show in full, so just trust me that Chris gets Jake out of jail and then they're pursued by the PP. The phone police, not the not the pedophile penis. Let's get out of here! After a thorough dance investigation of the room, they realize they're trapped. We're dead! Seriously? <laughs> I hope there's a choreography credit at the end of this so I know who not to vote for at the Teen Choice Awards. I am 19 years old, how dare you? Oh, except the mesh door behind us. We, well, we could try that, I guess. So they get out through a sewer and are immediately pursued by the phone police in their PPSUV. <laughs> Lucky for them, the PPSUV can only go about 20 clicks. <laughs> they arrive back home and everything's back to normal. This. Jake's room is in order and Annie has fashioned a shirt out of wallpaper. You remember him? You know who he is? Yeah. In fact, I'd like to forget him if I could. Um, actor playing Jake, I'm still pretty new to this, but I don't think you're supposed to read the directions. I'm gonna lie down. I'm exhausted. Back at camp, Tucker manages one last scare. Or one first scare, depending on how much of a pansy you are. <laughs> The end! <laughs> and then, this happens. Oh, get it! it! <laughs> oh, dang. I give the tale of the phone police six digits out of 555 digits. If you liked this, please do me a huge favor and share it on Facebook and Twitter. But not MySpace, because I, I don't want to attract the wrong kind of crowd. <laughs> Subtle art of acting on are you afraid of the dark? That's enough of Bugs McCanny. Yes? <laughs>